Happy birthday, dear, you know your name. Happy birthday to you. Come on now, dance with me. It's your birthday, dance with me, hey. Woo! Happy birthday to you. I better shut that off before it sets something on fire. So what's up with the birthday song opening up this premiere and the little balloon thingy, the centerpiece? Well, I've been thinking about it for some time now and just how significant birthdays are to people and the fact that many of us interact all the time and I have no idea if I'm talking to you on your birthday or not. So I thought I would invite you to share when your birthday is. Just the month and the day, not the year, obviously. But uh, at any rate, let me shut off this music real quick. As fun as this is. Yeah, I'm sure Mr. Bean is dancing, I have no doubt. Oh yeah, yeah he is. Come on, Mr. Bean, when is your birthday? Mr. Bean is tired. He's not doing much at all today. All right, I'm going to help him out. There he goes. Dead to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Bean. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. La 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 pa kam pa ko na ma la la ba te ne po pe. Oh 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 oh. Come on, Mr. Bean. A rum pa pum ka jam pa ka ba do ba ka ba dum pa pa ka do ba dum pa dum pa da ba dum. Even with light assistance, he is just not dancing today. All right. So what I'm going to try to do on a monthly basis, um, and I guess starting in July would be a good time. I could start now, too, just as easily. But I'm going to do like a little post on Facebook and basically say, Happy birthday to all of you this month. And then underneath that post, if you want to go ahead and post when your birthday is that month, um, I think that'd be way cool. Now, I don't know with the size of following that I have, if I'm going to be able to send something special to every person that has a birthday. It's kind of like me on Facebook right now. I have over 5,000 contacts. And on a daily basis, I have 25, 30, sometimes even 40 people that I have to send notes to to wish them a happy birthday. Now, I, I don't, I'm not saying that begrudgingly. I love to have that network of friends. Uh, but I think just acknowledging your birthday uh, would be fun. And I certainly will uh, try to recognize it if you post it uh, as well. So anyway, it's just a thought. Maybe it'll totally bomb and maybe no one will want to post that it's their birthday. I have no idea. But I thought I would at least give it a try. So I'm going to move this centerpiece because this premiere is about an unboxing. It's not about happy birthday to you. Uh, but I wanted to at least open it that way because that's something that I think is significant. I just noticed I left my paper clips on there when I was holding it open and then I finally stapled it. So if anyone needs a happy birthday centerpiece, uh, go get your own. This is mine. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you folks are, are continuing to do well. I hope uh, all is well in your neck of the woods. I know from... Uh, here in Wisconsin, folks are still operating 
uh, with the mindset of the corona craze still being at a peak. A lot of folks wearing masks, uh, a lot of folks uh, uh, taking other precautions. And, you know, if that's what makes them feel like they can get out and live their lives, uh, then more power to them. So what are we looking at here? This really cool looking tote that was sent to me by Maddie out of the great state, the sunny state of Florida, particularly uh, she's from uh, Punta Gorda. Gosh, I hope I'm saying that right. Punta Gorda, uh, P-U-N-T-A space G-O-R-D-A, Punta Gorda. Bill, where the heck is Punta Gorda? You're from Florida too, buddy. Uh, I have no idea where Punta Gorda is, and I didn't Google it, so maybe some of you on this premiere, if you want to get some brownie points with me, can Google Punta Gorda, Florida, and post in the chat, where is it? Or something unique or something significant uh, about Punta Gorda. And I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal. If you post a really, really interesting fact, not just something mundane like population or geographic location, uh, but something really cool about where Maddie is from, Punta Gorda, uh, Florida, then I'm going to give you your choice of one of the coffee mugs, the sewing coffee mugs that I showed you in one of the recent premieres. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then doggone it, you don't deserve to win one of those cold coffee mugs. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Here, I'll show you two of them. The other one I think is still uh, in the packaging. But if you haven't seen these, uh, these are, I think these are fun. And I'll just give you a choice of these two because I don't have the other one accessible right now. But if you post something really cool about uh, Punta Gora, Florida. Again, it's uh, P-U-N-T-A-G-O-R-D-A. -A. You post something really cool about Punta Gora, Florida. Then I'll send you something... Uh, I'll give you your choice. I'll give you a choice of one of these, uh, one of these two cool coffee mugs, sewing coffee theme mugs. Okay, so I'm going to set that to the side. I'm not going to be looking at the chat, so I don't know if, when and if you post something cool. And uh, but I will look at it, acknowledge it, and uh, and then uh, invite you to. Uh, invite you to share your contact information so I can mail one of these mugs to you. Okay? All right. What kind of music should we put on today? I think I might go with some big band. We haven't done some big band music in a while. I just have to get my computer to come out of sleep mode. I think my computer is moving about as fast as Mr. Bean today. Could you believe how lame Mr. Bean's dance was? I mean, what does he have, like a, a hurt knee or something? I don't think so. I don't think he has any knees. You can't see his knees anyway. All right. Let's get some big band going. So this first uh, big band piece I'm going to throw on is called Big Top. And we'll see what uh, see what we think of this. Um, any hints that I can give you? Let me see here. Because I know as I begin to go through the unveiling of this, uh, a lot of you are going to want to jump in and try to guess uh, what make and model Maddie's machine is that she sent us. I'm just going to try to get this off the top because I don't remember if it has her mailing address or any personal information on it and I do like to protect my customers privacy so let's get this out of the way okay hints on what might be in this uh, tote that came from again the great city of uh, Punta Punta Gorda Florida Punta Gorda 
Punta Glor Gorda, Florida. That's that's a tongue twister. Try saying it really fast. Punta Gor Gorda, Florida. Punta Gorda, Florida. Blah, blah, I give up. Anyway, I'll try to give you a couple of hints. I can tell you that Maddie has a has affectionately named this machine uh, Ebony. Ebony, like Ebony and Ivory from back in the 70s, that classic song. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can Google it. Um, what was that, Lionel Richie sang that song? Was it him that sang it? Ebon, Ebony and Ivory, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, you can Google it. Uh, so Maddie has named her machine uh, Ebony. And I can tell you that... I'm going to give you a huge clue here, doggone it. I'm going to give you a huge clue, all right? I'm going to tell you that this machine is part of the Slantomatic family. Oh my gosh, that's such a big clue. That's huge. That's a huge clue, for goodness sakes. So it's part of the Slantomatic family. And with that, I'm going to throw on this uh, some big band music. And we're going to keep on marching forward with this unboxing. But first of all, I'm going to grab a quick drink of water. Okay, let's, let's go back. Let's wind the clock back to some big band music, which is going to be going further back in time than the birth date of this machine. There's another big clue, huh? All right, here we go, Big Top. Well, this doesn't feel big bandish, does it? I feel like we're at the circus. I don't feel like it's big band. I don't know what's going on with eBay here, or not eBay, what am I talking about? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know what's going on with uh, YouTube here and saying that this is big band music. Let's try this. Woo! Believe it or not, this is labeled big band too, but this feels real country, doesn't it? That's okay. This is called pop in gold, pop in gold. All right, I see Daddy was serious and put uh, zip ties all the way around, so I'm gonna see if I can find a method of popping these off pretty easily. They're pretty good zip ties. Good gravy. I got plastic flying everywhere here, folks. How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. I better come up with a better method. Let me try these. See how these work. Oh yeah, that's better. Plus I'm less likely to lose an eye.
Boy, I'm glad I had my Wheaties today. This is a workout. I make it look easy though, huh? I'm here to pump you up. I'm here to pump you up. Maybe I need to type in swing instead of uh, big band because neither one of those songs that we just played the first one i threw on was big top and that was like what that's not big band and then i just put on uh pop and gold and that didn't seem like big band either i don't know maybe maybe big band just gives it a different let's try this one this this has to be big band it even says uh swing wait sing swing bada bing all these tongue twisters today. Sing, swing, bat a bang. Let's see what this sounds like. Oh yeah, now we're now we're in the neck of the woods, finally. All right, my faith is re restored a little bit with uh, YouTube's. Uh, search words of course the last one is going to be so tight that I'm not able to break it off it's come from the front this is the one Maddie put on here like super tight saying I'm going to really mess with Scott on the premiere to see if we can get it loose. I don't know. Ah. All right, dance break. Instead of getting frustrated in life, take a dance break. Seriously, it works. <laughs> that was big band man we played big band when i was uh doing my trumpet thing and that's definitely a big band flavor that 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 was right that was right okay i stretched this out a little bit so i think i can get a hold of it now hopefully although it's stretched right back in isn't that silly Go quick, go quick, grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it. Aha! Uh -huh. You cannot defeat me. All right, let's see if we can find one other good big band song. Let's see here. That one was almost good enough to play twice, but I'm going to put on big swing band now. You ready? Get on your dancing shoes. Here we go. Oh, man. Holy mackerel, there's an envelope.
Come on, Lori, down in Mississippi. How about Veronica, out in Virginia? Listen to that bass, oh my gosh. Woo! I'm just reading Maddie's note real quick. <laughs> so she writes, I've watched many of your reveals and have come to the conclusion you have a peanut allergy. I make it easy, all the peanuts are bagged to make it easy to unpack. You know what, that is so cool that she did that because I literally had this tote ready to throw the peanuts in, but it sounds like it's gonna be a pretty easy job, so that's way cool, way cool. All right. What else do I have here? Big band, how do you beat the big band music? You just sit so hard. Let me see if I put in swing. Let's see if we get some other fun music that way. Oh, yeah, we got a lot of choices under swing. Holy mackerel. All right, this next one is called Tiptoe Out, out the Back. Tiptoe Out the Back, and it's labeled Jazz and Blues. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. Who says you can't have fun with bubble wrap? Seriously. right she did bang it all up holy macro this is awesome and look at these uh, impact uh, protectors on top real thick like a reinforced type foam nice job Maddie nice job You could literally use these in football. These are like the pads that the football players wear. I may have to cut that Green Bay Packers to see if they need them. Lost it. Hold on. Rewind. That's the end. I was just starting to get into it. Not only do these protect the sewing machine, but they're also a musical instrument, for goodness sakes. Did you hear that rhythm and that sound? Wait, wait. 
You could literally use these in a band. I'm not kidding you. You could literally use them in a band as part of the percussions section. Awesome. I love them. Maddie, you might not get these back. I might. You know me. I'm like a nine-year-old. They're, they're a new play toy. They're a new play toy. I love them. All right. What else do we have now? So that was tiptoe out the back. And the next one is called simply swing. So let's see what this one sounds like. And it's labeled funky. So you better put on your seatbelt and get ready for some jive. You know what I mean? This is going to be, uh, as my friend out of Virginia would say, this is going to be totally off the hook and dope. I think that's, is that right? Did I get that right, Veronica? All right, here we go. Oh, man. I'm feeling launched already, man. Woo! You are not kidding. This is like what this is like what Monk would do with bubble with a bubble wrapper with packing peanuts. He would bag them up like this. So, Maddie, this is really a cool idea. This is awesome. Very cool idea. To talk about a courteous customer maddie you just got a thousand brownie points seriously this is this is so cool Think of this song. This is now. This is this is pretty cool. Uh, it's like a bubble type packing fill almost, and it's really really ri uh, rigid. So it really would provide a lot of good protection. Good choice. Real good choice. Excellent job of uh, packing that Maddie did. I'm going to come off the tripod and just show you how she padded the bottom of this as well. See those little musical instrument things I was using? She's got that down there, plus has additional uh, packing peanuts that are bagged around it as well. So it's just, it's floating, it's floating on a cushion of uh, protection right now. And then she had all this cavity filled in. She had all this cavity space filled in as well so that the machine wasn't bouncing around inside of the tote. Real good job, Maddie. Real good job. All right, this this song is getting to be a little bit annoying. It's just like a blah 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 blah. All right, swing theory. Yeah, yeah. This little this is a lot better. A lot better. Now you can see it even better. Got these uh, pad points around all four corners, plus this huge bag of packing peanuts down here that are really gonna afford a lot of good protection for that machine from the bottom. Someone drops it or something like that, no big deal, the way Maddie packed it. So 
Five out of five stars, kiddo. Five out of five stars. I've got to take one of those stars back. She didn't write front and back on it, so I don't know what the front and what the back is. Ah! No, I think I do. I think I can see the outline. I think we're gonna be like this. I've got a 50-50 chance, you know what I mean? I've got a 50-50 chance. And if uh, my friend Piper from Canada is watching, my friend, you can start throwing out guesses whenever you want. Just don't say like an industrial machine or something like that, because you're gonna be way, way, way off. Symbols and everything going with this song. This is awesome. I enjoyed that one a lot. I hope you did. That one again was called Swing Theory. Swing Theory. All right, this next one is called, and this one is labeled Calm, so we're going to be able to chill out a little bit, you know, take it down a couple of beats. This one is called Lazy Porch Swing Blues. Lazy Porch Swing Blues. Let's see what this one sounds like. Oh yeah. As we join the Waltons again, you notice that the large pitcher of lemonade has hardly been touched. And Ben, the dog, is still in the same spot that he was when we were here at the last episode. Let me zoom in and you'll see that he is breathing. I think so. Yeah. Nothing against you cat lovers, but you notice in the classic scenes, the Andy Griffith show and all the other ones where on the, they're on the big open porch and they're enjoying lemonade and the fresh air, they always have a dog laying there. You never see a cat. I mean, is that, 
do cats not matter? I mean, do cats not matter? I'll tell you one thing, if y'all want to know how to pack a machine, you can watch my packing videos. Maddie obviously did, plus she's been, she's been in attendance at a lot of the unboxings. Uh, but the way Maddie has packed this, this is exactly what you want to try to model. This is the way you want to do it, folks. I'm just gonna show you real quick. This is this is what we've already taken off of the cocooning that uh, Maddie did for Ebony. Again, Ebony is part of the Slantomatic family. Those are the the big clues that I'm giving you, right? Nice job. Join us again next week to find out if the dog is actually alive and if it's moved. Well, I mean, if it's alive, it probably moved. At any rate, join us next week. Join us next week. All right, so that was called, called Lazy Porch Swing Blues. And now we're going to do... What? Why did this come up under swing? That's so weird. Happy Birthday Bouncy. Happy birthday, Jazz. Happy birthday, Samba. Take it easy. Good gravy. Got some weird cross-referencing here. What else do we have? Uh, let's see. Let's do uh, Fallacy. Fallacy is the next one. Is in. Remember, there's a lot of machines in the Slanomatic family. A lot of machines in the Slanomatic family. On today's cooking program, as we get ready to prepare this recipe, we first have to peel this onion all the way down. I ask for your patience and your encouragement. Nice job, Maddie, nice job.
see what I'm saying? Maddie shipped this from Florida and she was not messing around. She did not spare uh, trying to protect uh, Ebony. Did not, did not spare at all. All right, we're getting real close. Get your guesses in. We're getting real close, folks. Let's see here. So the next one I'm going to do is called Sour Apples. This one feels more like a samba than it does big band, doesn't it? Kind of a funky samba. We're getting real close, folks, real close. This is the bubble wrap that we've taken off of Ebony so far, folks. I think Maddie might love her machine just a little bit. Yeah. one again was called sour apples and now we're going to do jazz mango jazz mango all right here we go Notice how Maddie protected her foot controller as fragile, exactly what you want to be doing. I've said that repeatedly and I still get foot controllers that come in that are not protected at all. So Maddie has been paying attention, good job. The 
this looks like a brand new cord on here that Maddie has. She must have uh, had someone put it on or she put it on herself. I mean, this is this is brand spanking new wiring. Beautiful wiring. The main concern that Maddie has with Ebony is a high-pitched sound that's coming from the motor area right now. A high-pitched sound that's coming from the motor area. So have you guys guessed yet what this is? And there's a main class and a subclass to this uh, particular slantomatic as well. So you may not be able to get that spot on until it's already revealed completely. I'm just reading her note again. I love her closing statement here. She says, uh, God bless and keep your, keep your herd... H-E-R-D, that's what I call the follow, follower of cow country. Smiling, entertained, and informed. Isn't that awesome? Smiling, entertained, and informed. That's kind of what we do in our classroom, isn't it? We have fun, we goof off, we joke around, we, we do goofy things. Um, I try to present things in a fun way so that it's engaging. I think that's the way we all learn best. And I try to give you information and insights that you otherwise might not have had so that you walk away equipped with more tools in your toolbox. Well said, Maddie. Well said. Smiling, entertained, and informed. Couldn't have said it better myself. I've got this little sign back here. I don't know if you all have ever seen that. The pink sign in the back. Laugh as a verb to express special mirth by a series of inarticulate sounds with the mouth open in a wide smile to show amusement. Uh, what can you add to that? You know what I mean? Other than what Maddie said, uh, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. All right, so again, I'm not looking at the chat. I don't know if anybody is close. And again, uh, Maddie, if you're in attendance, I, I hope that you are going to be able to field these guesses. I think that makes it more fun as the owner of uh, Ebony. All right, so this next one is called Block Party. Let's keep on working on getting Ebony unveiled. This is called Block Party. <laughs> To grab a quick drink of water. You can do the same thing if you want. Ebony had a long journey from Florida, and as Maddie and I talked about, this is Ebony's spa day, so I'm giving a little bit of a massage, welcome, welcoming her to the workshop. So, you know, if you want to take a break, grab another soda, lemonade, whatever, go for it.
getting real close, folks, real close. Real, real close. Ebony is starting to stretch her bobbin, her balance wheel. She's going, oh, that feels good to be free of all that. Oh, that feels good. I'm glad to be at my spa day. All right, that was called block party. Let's do something called swing house, swing house. It's all part of our spa treatment, folks. fun one. I could rewind that one a couple of times. I don't know about you. So that was called Swing House. I got to put that on again, folks. I'm sorry. Swing House is just one of those songs that's worth putting on rewind and playing it at least one more time. Part of the spa treatment, folks. It's all part of the spa treatment. Don't tell me it's done already. No way. Oh, come on. That thing runs. What is it? Only a minute and 34 seconds. That is not long enough. All right, the next one is called Lay It Down. Lay It Down.
And if you're new to the channel, make sure you're angling your scissors away from the machine and you get real close like this. One thing you can tell how much Maddie loves ebony when you look at the finish on this machine already coming into the workshop it looks like it's ready to go on display I'm gonna pause right there and let you all take a little gander if you haven't if you haven't guessed correctly yet this this should get you pretty close to the finish line, at least get you get you heading that way. So that last one was, I think, called Lay It Down. This next one is called Sing, Swing, Bada Bang. Didn't we already play this one? Pretty sure we did. Yeah, we did. Let's do it. This next one is called Gypsy Dance. Let's go ahead and play Gypsy Dance. Ebony, you are gorgeous. You are just a, what a looker. If you haven't gotten it yet, I'll give you a huge hint. This particular machine was the first Slantomatic to hit the market and weighs only five pounds more than the Singer Featherweight 221. Cool. 
see how Maddie made these little cones? They would slide like right over the uh, spool pin. And she's got them on all the other sensitive areas as well. I'm intentionally uh, tearing this this close to the bed because I don't want to try to slide the scissors in there. All right, y'all stop, y'all stop salivating, okay? If you're drooling, get a cup. Cause I don't blame you. Ebony is drop dead gorgeous. I mean, there are some hairline uh, scratches on the finish here. Other than that, oh my goodness, oh my goodness gravy, that is, that is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous specimen of whatever you think it is. Uh-huh. Yes, I'll come off the tripod and give you a closer look. All right, this next one is called Blakey's Burnout. Blakey's Burnout, how can I make it up? All right, let's come off the tripod, take a close, closer look at Ebony. And if you haven't guessed her make and model by now, then you're probably really, 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 really new to this channel. Look at how gorgeous she is. All right, here it comes, folks. Aha! So if you haven't typed in the chat by now, a Singer 301, then you missed it. Or as they say in Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you had your chance, you muffed it.
Ebony, you are, wow. Well, hey, Dr. Singer, I don't blame you for coming over. Oh, my goodness. She is one of, she is, wow. She is a, a goddess of 301s, isn't she? Isn't she a looker? Wow, wow, wow. Well, Maddie, you obviously have taken great care to take care of the outside of ebony. And now I'm going to take care to uh, take care of the inside to get rid of that high pitched sound. Just kind of zooming in on this. Just a little bit of a, a scratch or something right there. Looks like the paint is uh, it's down to the metal. Something caught that, which I should be able to, again, you're not going to get this at a local sewing center, but I should be able to uh, touch that up so it's not noticeable. Well, what do you folks think? Are you done drooling yet? <laughs> I wouldn't blame you if you are. I think even Dr. Singer might be drooling a little bit, so... Well, this completes the unboxing for Maddie's very, very beautiful uh, ebony. And I didn't ask Maddie if she has a white version of a sewing machine that she calls ivory. And again, if you folks have no idea what I'm talking about, there was a great song again done called Ebony and Ivory. I think it was by Lionel Harris. I have no idea. But Ebony is, uh, wow, is she a head turner, isn't she? So we're going to try to focus in on, uh, uh, I'm going to go through the motor and just see what's causing that high pitch sound right now and see if we can resolve it without replacing the motor. That'll be the goal. And, uh, and then we can get Ebony safely back down to uh, Florida. So she can uh, get back to enjoying the company of her very, very loving uh, owner who has taken a great deal of care to preserve her, her, uh, her beauty, hasn't she? Even down to the foot controller. So... Uh, all right, well, I'll check the chat and see if any of you uh, hit it before I revealed it. And uh, watch for other great unboxings like this. Uh, and again, take care and remember, kind of watch for that happy birthday thing I'm going to try to start doing. And people latch on to it. We'll keep doing it. If they don't, then we won't do it. But I think birthdays are important. And I think, uh, you know, you having a chance to share with the rest of the vintage community uh, on Facebook, hey, you know, it's my birthday this month on the, you know, whatever the day is. Uh, we can all give you well wishes and birthday blessings and all that good stuff, okay? All right. Well, Ebony, welcome to the workshop. And uh, we're going to get to work on you.
get you back to where you need to be. All right. And remember, you're never old until what? Regrets take the place of dreams. Hang on to your dreams, folks, and take action on your dreams. Okay? Take care.